I got something in the mail today. What's going on, everybody? It's Darkskater7, and today we got something. I know exactly what it is that I got in the mail. Um, I ordered an 8-bit do um, Ultimate Controller from Amazon. So we have a new unboxing knife, like a nice little mini sword. We're going to go ahead and cut it out because I want to see what it looks like, get the initial impressions on this device. Also, go over a little bit of it, and also I am going to... Uh, show you guys a little bit of the software and then the gameplay um, I got some reviews from my friend who also ordered the same controller but I ordered one at the same time he got his a little bit before me so you know, I was a little jealous but it is what it is you guys already know I love purple so let's look at the box first get all this stuff out of the way all right so this is the 8-bit do ultimate 2.4 gigahertz wireless controller uh, worked for Windows Android and Apple and yeah so you got the charging dock no yeah charging dock right there um, looks like an Xbox controller so I got my Xbox controller here and we're gonna compare the size whenever I do get this out of the box not much else going on here uh, it says Windows Windows 10 compatible Android 9.0 and above Apple iOS 16.3 and above iPad Mac OS iOS and all this good stuff so anyway uh, let's go ahead and start to open it up a little bit let's move that out of the way and let's start to cut this thing out I try to keep the boxes in pretty good shape oh, I can't even cut it right now but I try to keep the boxes in pretty good shape and just in case I got to return it but I don't think I'm gonna have to return this because I did get some pretty good reviews uh, from my buddy so slide off like that. I'm not sure if I have to cut anything out, but we'll put this up for right now. Plain white box, and it looks like it just slides right off. Okay, it doesn't slide right off. I gotta fight the damn thing. <laughs> and it just falls out. So let's get rid of all that stuff. All right, looks like inside the box, I have a USB to a mini our USB to uh, type C pretty lengthy cable we'll put that to the side there uh, doesn't look like there's anything else inside the box so I'll throw that to the side let's leave that up for a display and and this thing's light like extremely light we got some stickers over that to cover that protect it this is super super light like really light but it only costs like 50 bucks so uh, of course we got our user's manual I'll probably put that to the side and not use it and then realize I need it and then come back to it. Um, very substantial freaking charging dock. <laughs> Sheesh. Got your contacts back there. Let's see, you have your little mini paddles. So the design for the Xbox Elite 2, you have removable paddles, but then for this, you have like just a standard in the controller design they fall in a really nice natural place I have big hands really clicky the buttons here feel very nice kind of feel like the Xbox controller but a little softer I like how they have the d-pad placed right here it feels really 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 good so I'm interested in finding out how good that d-pad is with retro games because I plan on using this on my PC but also I have my um, OLED TV that I just got not too long ago and I'm gonna use it for a lot of my retro gaming uh, just for old old systems and stuff so I want to see because I can control everything on my TV with Bluetooth so I want to make this my main Bluetooth controller for the TV and also you can play cloud gaming and stuff like that but We'll see that later on in the video. Okay, there's that. It's got some juice to it already as well. Shoulder buttons. Let's see, they feel pretty good. They feel good. Now one thing, they don't have trigger stops um, like the Elite, but that's fine because we're not gonna use it for all that anyway. But they feel really good. Nice travel with that, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. Very nice travel feels really nice this feels good for 50 bucks nice feeling controller sits right down like that very very sexy looking 
Hmm. And this does come with software. So um, the second part of the video, I'm going to go over the software. I may put that at the end uh, so you guys can see the gameplay first. But yeah, that feels good. Sit in there nice. And then your mini USB plugs in right here to charge the controller. Also, I need to note this as well. Let me take this off of here. At the bottom of this controller stand, you open it up and there's a small door and that is where your USB dongle is for your Bluetooth, okay? Now, if you want to just use this as a dongle, plug it into your computer and have this as the receiver with your controller, you can do that. But you can also keep this plugged in and simply let it sit in there like that and then have your mini USB cable plugged in to your computer and have it have the receiver like that. So wanted to make a note of that. Yeah, so again, you can plug this dongle into your computer by itself and have it as a receiver for your computer or for your controller, or you can leave it plugged in at the bottom here, which I'll probably do, and then just have this as the receiver by itself. Usually I uh, sit my controllers on top of the uh, computer I'll show you guys that in a second. But usually, I set everything on top of the computer like that, where my controllers are up here. And I can have it sitting up there like that, and it'd be nice. But anyway, I think that is enough for the uh, first portion of the video. The next portion, uh, I think I'll just go ahead into uh, gameplay on the TV and see the responsiveness of the D-pad and how see how this feels playing some of those retro games. And then at the last part of the video, what we'll do is we will uh, go over the software very briefly uh, because you can remap all these buttons with the software that comes. So you can load up the software, pretty small file, you run it on your computer and then you can swap your controllers uh, or your buttons on here. All right, folks, we are back for the second part of the video. I figured logically it would make sense for me to go from the unboxing straight to the software portion. Um, also, side note, before we do that, uh, a lot of you have asked me where I got my music from. Every single video that I make that has music on it, it comes from this YouTube channel called Synthwave Radio. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move forward with the rest of the video. So let's go ahead and go to Google and we're gonna type in 8BitDo software download going to take us here and then the first link ultimate software 8 bit do going to click there and then you just click right here the upper left hand corner ultimate software it also shows you the different types of uh controls that they have available i will be getting the uh analog pocket dock sooner or later so i can play this stuff on my tv but anyway we went ahead and downloaded that and then it takes you to your downloads i'm gonna go ahead and open that up and we're just going to start up the software so it's telling me to press the home button on my controller. Go ahead and do that. And it's just gonna go ahead and sync up with the dongle. We're doing it for Windows. And it has your entire button layout as it stands right now. Everything's right there. So what I like about this is I can click on sticks and it shows everything about my sticks. It shows the motion and I can also change my dead zones the active area and everything else i can invert all this stuff it's really really extensive how much time and work that they put into this software anything i do on the controller with the exception of these different face buttons will be reflected on the screen so i'm check checking my d-pad out right now very responsive left analog stick and right analog stick but unfortunately it does not do the face buttons the uh, abxy let's go to our triggers and for our triggers, you can change the actual active, um, the active portion of it. So instead of me having to have trigger stops on here, I can actually shorten this. And let's do about half for both of them. So now the active portion of my controller is within here. So instead of me having to do the full range of motion to get to 100, I can do it a lot sooner, about right here, okay? So I don't have to have trigger stops. Now on the Xbox Elite 2 and Elite 1, uh, they have a physical uh, button that changes your uh, trigger stop section. So for here, do it in the software. Also your vibration, you can test out your vibration. You can set it to what you want. If I want it to just be a low vibration on two or one or full vibration, which is too much. So I think two feels real nice and subtle and we'll leave it there. 
got your macro i'm not doing any of this stuff but just understand that having macro capabilities on a controller is very very good i mean i might do that but like that's if i want to do some more research but other than that the software is pretty straightforward very intuitive very simple to follow and then that's that you do have the option of making three separate profiles on your controller and then you control that with the button on the front when you want to switch between your different profiles and that's that pretty straightforward and simple uh very easy i'm impressed with the software and also impressed with the hardware so far with the price of this thing 50 bucks i don't know so so far i may be too hyped but we're gonna see in the gameplay we're gonna test a few games like mario brothers ninja gaiden um you know stuff like that maybe even contra and then we'll go from there and um and then we'll end the video but i hope you guys are enjoying it so far make sure you like and subscribe because i put a lot of work into this i know i don't do a lot of editing but it is what it is anyway thank you guys for being here so let's get on to the third part of the video let's get to the gameplay all right folks we're back for the uh, third section of the video and i do want to make a note that um it looks like the directional pad on the 8-bit duo ultimate controller was taken directly off of a nintendo super nintendo controller they look identical i mean i'm pretty sure they're not the same but then again i don't know but that may be why this feels so nostalgic because it really feels so good so now we're gonna get to some gameplay and uh we're gonna test it out so right here we have uh emudeck or emulation station that is run off of steam i have my computer hooked up to my um 65 inch oled tv and uh that is pretty much the way i have everything set up in here uh let me go ahead and switch over so that the display here takes control all right and so with emulation station uh you have all of your different retro systems uh you know like 3ds 64 ds nintendo game boy advance uh, all the way up to the nintendo switch the wii u everything so we're going to test out a few games not too many we're not going to get really crazy with it but we're going to test out a few of them and just see the responsiveness of the d-pad and um yeah this is going to be my primary emulation station uh, aside from the steam deck oled so we're going to start out with uh the regular nintendo and um Let's start there. Let me cut the music real quick and then we'll get back to this and we're gonna play a little bit, all right? Uh, computer, turn off room lights. All righty. Let's set control back here. Let's zoom in just a little bit. And then let us test out uh, Super Mario Brothers. Let's see the responsiveness of the D-pad. All right. All right, let's see how this goes. Feels good. Yeah, it feels really good. It's been a while. I'm a little rusty, so do not make fun of me. Almost messed it up. Okay, I do remember some of the secrets. <laughs> I got messed up. No! Can't be looking bad in front of my viewers. Alright, this is the real test right here. Should be a star here. Didn't have to jump over them. All right, we got to the top of the flag. So I did redeem myself, even though I should not have gotten killed or hit that first time. So we'll get the flower back as soon as we get down here. This is very responsive though, like really responsive. So I think I'm gonna test out maybe Ninja Gaiden next. That's one of my other favorite games. Um, maybe, uh, maybe Mario Bros. not Mario Bros. Uh, maybe uh, Mega Man 2. All right, so I think that's good enough for that. It's extremely responsive. I mean, very, very responsive. Let's go back and uh, let's see. Let's try out. Let's try out Ninja Gaiden. Hopefully, it's not too far off. 
Uh, let's go down a little bit. And I got a bunch of games on here. Um, Emulation Station is a wonderful freaking uh, program for your PC and also for your Steam Deck. So did I miss it? Is it not on here? Huh. There it is. Well, no, I want to play three because mm -hmm. screw that. Let's play the first Ninja Gaiden. And I want to test out responsiveness. There's a section in here that um, I really want to see how responsive it is. And we're going to watch the intro because it's nostalgic. And I haven't seen the intro since I was a kid. Okay. Back then, I thought that this was like the equivalent to a freaking blockbuster movie. I thought that was a shit. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get to the gameplay. Very good so far. Man, this is responsive. For 50 bucks? 50 bucks, y'all. Bro, chill. All right, so that's what I wanted to test out, um, how responsive it is when I hit the different items and also when I jump up the wall. Very good. I'm gonna take it all the way to the end and uh, beat the boss. I'm gonna test it here. Not as fast as I used to be when I was a kid. Let's see this. It worked! <laughs> Man, this is a very good controller. A very good controller. You getting some of my skills back? Nope. Okay, I spoke too soon. But let's go ahead and beat this boss real quick. And of course, the secret here is distance. Because he can't touch you. He has moved back, still can't touch you. Before you know it, you beat him. All right, let's kill that and let's uh, take it back. Let's see, what can we test out next? All right, so I had to make a really quick edit because I noticed that I did not say anything about fighting games and then the directional pad is an important part of a controller, so uh, especially retro. So let's go ahead and go into Final Burn Neo and then let's do some Capcom PlayStation 3 games and uh, let's try um, some fighting games, all right? So let's do Street Fighter Alpha Warriors Dreams. Uh, everything is set up in the free play, but I believe for the Capcom PlayStation 3, I do have to put quarters in, theoretically, but it's all free. So we'll test out the directional pad, um, do some uh, Ryu fireballs. All right. And we're gonna test that out. All right, that works. Fireballs, easy. Very responsive, easy. I don't know damn well she didn't do that to me. Come on, Chun-Li, chill. Chill, Chun-Li. You will learn your place, Chun-Li. I was not going to let her whoop my ass in front of you guys. So let's close out of that one. And let's see. Uh, let's try out. Um, let's see. Which one? 353 New Generation. Not really. Um, let's try Red Earth out. That's a game that like is pretty obscure. Not too many people have played it before. But then again, Capcom Play System 1, 2, and 3 um, were different arcade cabinets. And a lot of us didn't know that they even existed until we played them on emulators. And this one had a bunch of different weird characters and stuff. My favorite was the ninja character. All right, so we're gonna do uh, Rinji. Or Kinji, I'm sorry, I called him Rinji. All right, we're gonna skip past all that. No mercy. 
Embassy. Attack. Bruh, you chilling. You starting out doing way too much. Chill. You spamming the cheat. It's like a series of boss fights, pretty much. Why am I running into that? He's gonna kill me. This cat just straight up spammed the damn power button. That's what he did. Oh, chill. You damn what? I want to continue. Shit, I got whooped in front of my viewers. No, we gonna we gonna give Kenji another try. Yeah. That dude spammed the heavy attack. No, then again, I did jump back attack. in and kept on trying to do special stuff, but we're not gonna, no mercy this time. Cause I didn't know Kenji had a freaking gun. No, we're not, we're not losing like that, like last time. I had to redeem myself and get back my self-respect. But we're going to end that because I don't want you guys to see me get my ass kicked on the second opponent. Uh, let's do one more. Let's do um, JoJo's Adventure or JoJo's Venture. There were a bunch of different versions of this on the Capcom Play System 3. We're going to run with JoJo, of course. Chill out, fam. All right, now we're not doing round two, but yeah, I just want to test out some of the uh, fighting games. And it looked like it's pretty responsive. It feels really, really good. Uh, I really have no complaints about this controller. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and skip on to the uh, Nintendo Switch. And then we're going to play some uh, some uh, Mario Kart 8. And then that'll be the end of the video. So had to make a real quick edit. Thank you for uh, watching. We had some technical difficulties, but we're back. Um, also, just to prove, I do own Mario Kart 8 for the Nintendo Switch. This is my Switch OLED here, but let's go ahead and get right back to the video and start up some Mario Kart 8 on the Switch emulator on the PC. So let's choose that one here. And get it started up. And we're going to do one race and we're going to test out the responsiveness of the control pad. So far, so good. It is, um, I'm very impressed for a $50 control pad. It's extremely good. Um, I have no complaints so far. It feels good. It's light, lighter than I'm used to, but then again, the Elite controller for the Xbox uh, is pretty substantial. I've gotten used to this, and it's so light to the point where it kind of starts to melt in my hand, and I don't feel it anymore when I'm playing games. So let's go ahead and do Grand Prix. Grand Prix. I'm gonna do, do 100 because you guys are not gonna see me get my ass kicked on this game. And also you get to see how good the uh, emulation station uh, handles this freaking game or the Switch emulation. But again, let me say it again. I do own it because I have all the gadgets and uh, yeah, but it looks amazing comparatively. Looks good. So let's go ahead and get the win on this race here. We got Koopa Troopa, the main man of the hour. Yep, so far so good. I'm using the D-pad exclusively on this race. Get a little bit of power slide. Hopefully we get something good. All right, we got the red shell. We're gonna go ahead and get these. Who's past him? We're gonna take this guy out because screw toad, see you later loser. And we're gonna get this easy dub. And then after that, we will end the video and um, I will bug you guys for subscribers. Yeah, we had to get rid of that. We're not doing the red shell shit here. 
Go ahead and hit the ground running and get a boost off of the ramp. We may miss the first, but we'll get the second and third boost. Now let's see what happens. And we're, it looks like we're pretty far ahead, so I ain't gonna really worry about anybody. We're gonna get hit by that. It's all good. Let's leave that back there for him. It's like I hit somebody. skip all that this should be our final lap here they would hit me with that what is your problem extremely responsive man I suggest if you want to get one of these man please get it it's 50 bucks you cannot go wrong with it All right, there we go. I can't complain about this. This is a really good controller. Anyway, um, computer, turn on room lights. All right, so uh, that's the end of the video. Again, this is the 8-Bit Do Ultimate Controller, uh, Bluetooth, 2.4 gigahertz. Um, I'm using it on my PC. You can use it pretty much on anything, just about. Uh, covers Android, iOS, um, Microsoft everything but this thing is amazing 50 bucks extremely responsive with the d-pad great controls very light you have uh, remappable face buttons remappable everything pretty much you can adjust your trigger stops uh, your dead zones everything with the software that you get off of the website this is an amazing controller for $50 8-bit do ultimate controller I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you as always for the uh, support and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment in the uh, comment section on the types of videos that you want to see uh, next. But anyway, I won't hold you guys any longer. Thank you so much. Dark Skitter out. Peace.